Okay, right now we're getting ready to sew a sample seam, a 5 8 inch standard seam. So I've taken my two layers of fabric, I put them right sides together. I will take some pins and just pin the fabric in place so that it does not shift as I'm stitching. You just have to remember to take your pins out as you sew so that you don't uh, damage your needle, um, put holes in your fabric, that kind of thing. Okay, so the fabric is held together with the pins with the edges evenly aligned. Alright, now we're going to make sure that we're stitching at 5 eighths of an inch. So that means I need to be 5 eighths of an inch from where my needle is. Now my machine has this handy guide that I've set ahead of time. And you may be using a uh, magnet, um, placing it on the 5 eighths inch mark for your guide. I'm just going to measure over and make sure that my guide is at 5 eighths of an inch, and it is. Okay, so I'm going to align my fabric, and because I'm going to back stitch first, I'm going to go ahead and put my presser foot down, and you'll see my fabric is part way back under the presser foot, farther back than where the needle is. I'm using the hand wheel, I'm lowering my needle into place and then I'm going to do my back stitching first. And I go backwards till I get to the edge of the fabric and then I stop and I go forward again. And I keep my edge next to my guide. As I get close to my pin, I go ahead and take it out, put it back on my pin cushion. And you see I'm guiding the fabric. I'm not pushing, I'm not pulling, I'm not pulling it off to the side. My hands are in front and all they are doing is guiding the fabric. The machine pulls the fabric in on its own. You are just there to help with the guiding. Okay, I take my next pin out. We go again. It's always good when you stop and arrange anything that you stop with your needle down. If the needle's up when you stop, take your hand wheel, turn it towards you until your needle goes back in. That way, if we got really close to the pin and we had to lift the presser foot to get the pin out, our fabric would not shift in its position. It would stay right next to that 5 8 inch mark, right where it needs to be. So I keep going until I get to the edge of my fabric once again. And I do my back stitching. And release and sew over it. With the needle up, I lift my presser foot. I pull this out and I go ahead and snip it close to the edge. Come back to this side, trim my stitches. I always want to trim your stitches right away so you don't have threads that are going to be tangling. And that is my 5 8 of an inch seam with a back stitch at each end. Now when we're talking about seam allowances, the part that is between your stitching and the edge of the fabric, that is the seam allowance. So this has a 5 8 inch seam allowance, which is the standard width for any sewn garments.